Now before we start, what I'd encourage you to do is to draw a quick sketch of the two particles, something along these kind of lines. We've got the particles A and B with masses Km and M respectively. We're told that the particles are heading towards one another and before they collide A is moving with a speed of 2u and B is moving with a speed of 4u. But after the collision A speed is halved so it's now down to u and its direction is reversed so obviously it's now going to be heading towards the left. And our job is to find out the speed of B in terms of K and U. Now to do this what we need to do is just put on an arrow on here. I'm going to have it going to the right, okay? But it doesn't matter if you have it going to the left. Let the mathematics sort it out. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. But we're going to call this V for final velocity and I'm going to put a little subscript there so we know it's the final velocity of B. Now to do this problem we're going to use the conservation of momentum. So what I would do is just write a little subtitle here by the conservation of momentum. I'll just put cons of momentum. Okay, conservation of momentum. What is the conservation of momentum? Well, hopefully you know it. It's the momentum before impact equals the momentum after impact, providing no external forces act on the system. And there are no external forces acting on the system, so we can use this concept. Now, momentum is a vector quantity, and so therefore we need a plus direction throughout the problem. It doesn't matter which way you take the plus direction as long as you stick by it. Now, because I've selected the velocity of B to the right, I'm going to choose my arrow for positive direction to the right. But it is totally up to you what you do. Now, I did say it didn't matter which way you put VB. What would happen if I did find that VB was going in the other direction towards the left? Then VB, when I do the conservation momentum, will come out as a negative value. So that's the way we will interpret it. Okay, well, let's start now the conservation of momentum. We've got the momentum before then. So momentum is mass times velocity. So if we start with A, we've got the mass, Km, multiplied by the velocity, and the velocity is plus 2u, because it's in the plus sense, so that's going to be 2u. Then we add the momentum of B. So momentum of B, mass again, times the velocity. Now the velocity will be negative for you because the for you is going in the negative sense. So put minus for you there. So this is the initial momentum before impact. Now it's got to equal the momentum after impact. So we start again with A. A has a mass of Km. Put in its velocity now and we see that we've got U going in the negative sense. So it's going to be minus u. Then we add the momentum of b, so we've got the mass here which is m times the velocity and what we have is plus vb because vb is going in the plus sense so just put vb there. So all we need to do now is just tidy this up and make vb the subject. I can see that we've got an m in every term so I could divide through each term by m so they cancel out and then I've got 2uk so we'll just put that or 2ku and then I've got minus 4u and that equals minus ku and we've got plus vb so all I need to do is add ku to both sides and so therefore I've got the final velocity of b equals 2ku plus another ku, so that's 3ku, and then minus the 4u. Alright, so 
that is the speed after the collision. So we don't know the direction as such as yet. That's going to be asked in the next part. So I'll take you through that in the next video.